you would like to implement policies to reduce emissions of methane, nitrous oxide, and the F gases. So let me pull that one notch, moderately reduced. Uh, we're at 2.4. That mattered a lot. Now, how is that going to be accomplished? Much of those emissions, and we can look at this if we drill down, much of the emissions in this area are coming from uh, agriculture and wastes, especially methane and nitrous oxide. So this has, these, these are policies that are implementable today. It would be things like uh, cut down on food waste. About 30% of the food produced in the world is wasted. If you cut down on that, you don't need as much fertilizer input, you don't, which reduces N2O, et cetera. You don't need as much land in cultivation. Uh, and that cuts down on your methane. Also, uh, a switch to a less meat-heavy diet is, uh, is another way to cut down significantly on the methane, because a lot of the methane comes from livestock, uh, both uh, enteric digestion, cow burps, if you like, but also methane that comes from uh, anaerobic uh, bacterial uh, metabolism of the manure. And, uh, you can cut down on that. There's other ways to reduce methane emissions and N2O emissions from agriculture, no-till agriculture, use of cover crops instead of artificial fertilizer, synthetic fertilizers, et cetera. These are all doable policies, and we've done all of them, as well as the reduction in the F gases and the methane and N2O that come from industry and the energy industries.